What was today like for you guys? Uh, I don't know if you you've probably been in this spot once before in Tennessee, like when you don't know if your coach is coming back and change, like GM change. Like what's all that like as a player? Is that unsettling? No, I think the only unsettling thing is that the season ended how it did. Um, you know, going to the playoffs, being in that position, um, and for it to see it, you know, go away. You know, obviously that was our last opportunity Sunday. You got to cherish that, that moment because – you never know what's to happen in the future. Um, so I think that was the most unsettling thing, you know, seeing everybody face because everything changes, you know, you're out with players or whatever it may be. So um, just thankful um, to be able to see everybody and, and to how we finished and, and got through the year with all the adversity and things that hit us. Um, just thankful how the guys worked and, and battled. Odori, how does uh, Joe Judge relate to players? This was your first year here, your first experience with him. How do you feel like he connects with his players? Uh, I think he does a, a great job. Um, has his message and what he wants to preach and what he wants to say. And then he has the coaches that are able to relate to the players on another level that if he's not able to, to get to him at that point. But um, I think he has a good balance of being able to talk to all the players on a personal level, on a, a standard where he wants to hold you accountable because you're going to do the same for yourself. And at the same time, able to have the coaches that are around that you're going to see most of the time uh, to be able to help you get the message across as well. If I could slip in one more, Dory, Patrick Graham could be a head coaching candidate somewhere. Uh, what would, would you hate to lose him? And do you think he'd be a good head coach somewhere? Uh, I always would hate to lose a coach, you know, that you know, believed in me and, you know, obviously vouched for me to get here. You know, everybody that was here on the staff. Um, Hate to see him go, but at the end of the day, you never want to block another man's blessing. Um, so if that's what happens, hypothetically, you never know what goes on in the future. I think he'll make a great coach. Um, but if he wants to stay here, I'm still going to be happy. So either way it goes, it's going to be me being happy for someone, um, you know, doing something they believe in and, and they're great at. We'll take two more, Chris, and then Jordan. Dory, um, how frustrating was this season, finishing 4-13, and and how would you evaluate your first year here? Uh, words to describe. It was. It, I think it was more gut wrenching, like a sickening feeling. You know, I get to the crib, and then seeing the games going on, I keep seeing you know, everybody else who may be in the contention to play for this and play for that. So it's a feeling that you don't want to feel. Um, you know, nobody likes losing. Uh, at the end of the day, we come in to work um, and prepare and try to play, but things didn't go our way. So. Um, yeah, everybody has that feeling of, of sickening and wanting and wish that things could have changed out different. So, you just got to learn for that. Keep that feeling that you have and go f and go from there. And it starts, you know, whenever you start training, whenever you start working out, you just got to get to it. Jordan, how do you feel your first season went, Dory? Uh, it was cool. Obviously, I don't think it went good because we ain't <laughs> we ain't where I want us to be, which is in the playoffs. So, I'm gonna just say it was cool on that on that note. Thanks. All right, last one for Jordan. Hey, Dory, what's up, man? How you doing? I'm curious, what, what was this morning like in regards to, were guys talking about the potential of Joe getting fired or, or Dave leaving? And what was that like? What was that conversation like among players? So we were just signing jerseys for each other and helmets. I don't think that was not who I was around. We didn't really speak on, on nothing about that. We were just trying to enjoy the moments that we have because, I mean, like I said, you might – the team gonna be different, you know. That's just how the the game goes. Uh, so you never know. Everybody say, "Oh yeah, let's link, let's do that." So it was more about us making plans to make sure we try to see each other because we did have a bond, genuinely. So we were just trying to make sure we catch up and recap on on each other. You know, see how we doing, um, seeing where we're gonna be in the future, uh, so we can make plans to train or hang out or do whatever it may be. So I don't think there was any conversations, at least what I was around, um, about any situation that may change. Well, I'm sure you you noticed though. I'm sure got some most guys notice like Joe's getting slammed like left and right. You know, people think that uh, you go on social media, every, everybody seems to want him gone. Uh, how much do you guys recognize that, and what what do you think of that? We don't even buy into it. I mean, if you obviously you may see it on the ticker or something, people talk crazy. But at the end of the day, you don't try to believe the hype I and mean, you don't try to believe the lows. At the end of the day, whichever one you believe, you're going to have to believe both. So um, for us, we just try to come into work. I understand we can only control what we can control, which is us um, and the way we perform. And, you know, I don't really mind too much about critics at all or, or the positives because at the end of the day, we're the ones that have to do the job. And, and that's why we're doing it. You know, pressure bust a pipe or make diamonds. And at the end of the day, just got to keep working.